Good morning. It is Monday. This is a classic Monday morning. Not in the mood, not feeling the vibes, but we're going to the gym. I'm really looking forward to what we're doing after the gym. We're going to the garden center, which I haven't done in a very long time. Ryan is next to me. He's like, yes, this is a fantastic morning. <laughs> Go to the gym. Get those uh get the get the blood pumping we'll turn it around. Yeah, I need the I need the endorphins. And do you know what? It's I've really been feeling it when I have been to the gym recently, so looking forward to that. And then we're going to the garden centre. And then I'm I'm not really looking forward to the afternoon because if the weather does hold up, I actually need to do some gardening and I just you know when you just wake up and you're like, No, why did I book this in for today? Why? Why? that's how I feel but it's gonna be fine and I'm really excited because right now Ryan is like in the process of booking in our loft conversion finally sorry I almost hit your, hit your head so yeah actually a very good morning I'm just I went to bed in a bad mood last night and I've woken up in the same mood if not worse because I slept so badly like you know when you're half asleep and you're still like thinking about life and like decisions you need to make and things you need to do and you're like consciously thinking about it whilst you're like half asleep that's what was going on so that was why i woke up this morning i was like i think we should just book the loft conversion because i've been thinking about it basically from the hours of 11 p.m till 6 a.m so yeah i've been aware that we should probably book it yeah i want to get it in for because they just get so booked up summer. yeah I don't know if that's a spoiler or not. No, it's not. I think I told them <laughs> it was going to be in the summer. I mean, it makes sense to have it in the summer. But we're basically doing it. Your birthday is at, like, peak summer, and then mine is after the summer. So we're basically doing it at a point where it's going to run over someone's birthday. Well, hopefully it will fit between if we do it just after my birthday. And then it shouldn't take up until yours, hopefully. Well, no, because everyone forgets that if you have an early October birthday, it basically... So it's yeah, the true. end of September, essentially. Everyone's like, but your birthday's in October. And I'm like, no, my birthday's not yeah, in October. Yeah, so much further away. <laughs> All right, well, your birthday is going to be on a building site. Yeah, my birthday is going to be on a building site. Great. Anyway, let's go to the gym. The best bit about coming to the garden center isn't actually the gardening stuff. It's the food section. I love it here. I'm obsessed with these teas. Aren't they just the cutest thing you've ever seen? So I have to really not get distracted by everything that is blooming right now because I just want to take all of these home. The purple stuff, however, that can come home with me. We've got a few purple bits here. Ryan's loving life. I've promised him we'll get to the veggies soon. Oh my God, you guys, look at this. It's not, not the cutest thing you've ever seen. I wish these grew in purple because I would take that home immediately. This is a full cart, look at that. Stunning. How amazing are these? Like this colour, I'm obsessed. All right babes, what are you feeling? What do you want to grow? I'm feeling chocolate tomatoes. Chocolate tomatoes, wow. I would love some green zebra tomatoes. That's like the dream. But because we don't have a greenhouse anymore, I feel like we need to be careful. Yeah, I think I'll keep these maybe inside for a little bit until they're like, a bit more grown. I love the veggie section here. It just, it's like my heaven. It makes me a little bit hungry as well. Oh, aubergines. Did you ever know there were this many kinds of tomatoes? Because I didn't. Introducing the new members of the family. <laughs> Ryan is like seriously telling me that we need to clickbait this video, new members of the family. Um, <laughs> carry the carrots. Uh, what was the kale? Kevin? Yeah, I think it was Kevin. Kevin, yeah. Kevin the kale, Sherry the shallot, uh, Lloyd the lettuce, and Charlie the chard. Charlie the chard. Charlie favorite, the chard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, welcome to your. I'm your new mommy. Don't 
don't kill me. We're gonna take you home and we're gonna take care of you. I actually believe that talking to plants, like I actually, Ryan catches me talking to the plants sometimes and I do believe that it makes them grow better. Um, I might sound really insane, but yeah. Do you know what? I am so buzzing to get the garden done now. Like I really don't give a two rats tails about the uh, flower beds, but I am buzzing to get the veg patch going. You almost blended in. I didn't know where you were. <laughs> you are you sunbathing? This is like her perfect outdoor temperature. She loves the sun. So it's giving that scene in Mr. and Mrs. Smith where she says, I just woke up this morning and I hated everything. There's been an absolute massacre. It's very much needed because my lovely mum looked after the garden last year, last summer. She mowed it and she kept everything neat but because of the things that I have and the soil that I have everything just grows so like the sage was literally I don't I think the sage might have to come out at some point this summer because it's just it's getting quite thick at the root and quite tall and that wasn't really what I intended and it can get like it can just grow into a whole bush if you leave it so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I don't love it when it gets like this like over here I need to really hack that back and further down here there's a bit of sage that I've just like left but as you can see it really takes over this was about this big when I first bought it um so yeah I'm leaving your garden unattended for one summer not a great idea not a great idea so I have a lot of work to do we have got a lot of gaps to fill there's a lot of dead bushes I mean there's actually so many gaps to fill right now um like there's stuff that I haven't even managed to take out yet this is going to be I think this is going to be about a month's worth of like weekends this project so stay tuned meanwhile got to try and get this into my composter wish me luck in the meantime i thought i'd show you what we picked up i've got some alliums because i have been trying to grow them for so long and all i get is like loads and loads like thick amounts of like leaf but no flower so I'm gonna try I tried to grow them from the bulb I'm gonna try them like this and see if this sticks um I've got some more of this scab scab scabiosa scabiosa I'm gonna call it that um I've got a couple of those because I love those and um I had a couple die in the bed last summer so I'm gonna pop them back in um but yeah we've got alliums we've got purple sensation alliums we've got gladiator alliums and we've got uh guy Gigantium or something like that. Gigantium, gigantium. And then we've got some bits for the veg bed. I actually need to get these inside pronto. You're not gonna like being out here. You're not meant to be out here yet. Just put me there. But anyway, we have got dill. We love a bit of dill and um, we very rarely buy it from the supermarket. It's always one of those things that catches us out that we don't have. I've got some more garlic chive. We've got garlic and then we've got some veggies somewhere i can't remember where i put them and then we have look at these like the color of these is insane i don't even know if it'll come off on camera they're like this deep violet purpley blue they are absolutely stunning they're called cobalt blue interestingly is one of the colors of the year apparently and um yeah i just they're like they're the most insane color they're almost like a neon blue purple in real life like they're incredible like i can't believe that these like nature makes these like that is insane i just can't go over it i don't think the color will come off on camera but they're incredible and then i also got them in this kind of purpley lilac-y pinky blue color oh and also this little blue color these are something like sinetis something like that but yeah i just thought they were so gorgeous and i got like a variety of purples because that is the vibe for the garden and then i also got clematis which i've tried growing before in a pot over here and as you can probably see it did not go well 
So we're going to try that again. Hello tulips. They're fully coming out. I'm so excited. Hello. So gorgeous. I need to sort this bed out as well. This is going to go on forever. It's not the one day thing I envisioned it being. Also, how stunning is this one lone poppy? <laughs> so beautiful. Also, I have no idea what this is going to be. I'm intrigued. I'm just going to let it grow. Well, frick me, that was a job. So I have gone over this garden twice now and it still looks like shit. I think I'm going to ask Ryan to go over this tomorrow before he starts work. Sorry, that plane is so loud, but we are halfway there. I'm hoping that now the grass is shorter. The lawnmower might actually collect some of the grass. I've also dotted the new plants kind of roughly where I think they're going to go. Um, so it might look a little bit weird, the placement, but I know what's going to grow where, even if there's nothing there at the moment. Like there's some catmint there, which will get huge over the course of the summer so i didn't want to put this too far over and that's kind of the general consensus up the rest of the flower bed as well but yeah hopefully this will look gorgeous in the summer when there's just a lot more vibrant purple going on because the catmint comes out and it's purple the lavender comes out and it's purple the sage is purple it just works really beautifully together although we have a new addition which is growing some red flowers interested to see how that develops and what it develops into um there are some things that are also still a bit dead but still a bit alive so gonna leave them and see how we get on and um, but yeah there's a lot more work to be done along here i mean i could spend about a week doing it and still i don't think i i would think it was perfect but yeah we're making a start we're making a start and i'm never leaving it for a whole summer ever ever again it's not bad in terms of weeds because it was so full of like lovely things but it's just really grown and it's wild and it needs a little bit of taming however i'm very excited because my hydrangeas at the bottom of the garden have fully come back like this actually shocked me when i saw it i'm hoping that they are just going to get like beautiful and big this year i'm hoping this is the year every year we've had some like awful weather that has like killed them off in the spring same for this little one over here not sure whether they should go in the actual flower beds to be honest but i'm scared to move this one now because i feel like it's it's established if we're gonna move either it's gonna be this one i think i think this could be really interesting uh to see if it will go like maybe here so it's still in shade because it's a, these are white hydrangeas so they don't like being in the sun so i'm thinking over here would be lovely because it gets a little bit of sun but not like too much and then we have the veg bed which is probably the thing i'm most excited to get started on i'm glad the tulips are starting to come up because it should mean that they all bloom kind of roughly around the same time i get a lovely bunch of flowers and then i can just have a good hack away at this and for those that were worried about this veg patch and uh some of the lovely things that are already in it going to waste um i think i've got something on the camera but i have nothing to wipe you with hang on is that better yeah okay perfect um yeah i've got loads of it elsewhere in the garden but also brian's garden currently has nothing in it the flower beds are bare so what i'm going to do is see if uh, i can depot them uproot them pot them take them to his and plant them because i've done that elsewhere in the garden along the flower beds i have previously like basically dug something up chopped it in half and moved it and you really have to trust the process with it um it looks like it's not going to work it looks like you have murdered a plant, but they come back. So I think I'm gonna try that so that this uh, flower bed doesn't go to waste. Wish me luck. I'm also so excited to plant this Clematis, Clematis in here. We still need to have the outside of the studio painted, but I think I'm gonna kind of try and get it to climb this wall. Um, and then if it comes over, it's like, whoops, you know, but I think it will look really lovely if it did kind of climb up and then obviously needs painting um, but if it did climb up and then sit between the wall and the studio because the studio is quite modern I think it would just be quite nice to have something wild just growing up the side just a little bit Tuesday it is podcast shoot day I am in a studio in a mesh full body suit and I am 
freezing. We have got the Starbucks. <laughs> oh my god. We've just had, thank you, hot drinks delivered because it actually feels it's colder in here. so it cold. Like in there, it's because it? there's no windows, there's no light. Do you that's okay. me. Okay. And you sure? my Thank you. Thanks, Susie. So we are about oh. halfway through? Yeah, halfway through. I'd say. I can't believe it actually looks like I'm fully in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. There's, there is it's a like studio. Actually, we're in There's a studio, a studio but we're actually shooting in the dark. Yeah, mm -hmm. we are fully in the dark. It's giving it's giving Wednesday. Mm. I love my hair though. This is yeah. like I think such this is a vibe. summer vibe for yeah, this year. Yeah, like yeah. mermaid hair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're gonna oh. get back to it. activities don't give you severe whiplash nothing will wrapped the podcast shoot early so we are back to gardening <laughs> is tragic <laughs> the head of my hose is broken so <laughs> this is how i am watering in my plants i don't know if this is what you guys were expecting when i said a gardening vlog it's not really it's not really giving what i wanted it to give is it oh well and look at this my hydrangeas which still have the bloody tag on them are uh, coming back so these should in theory be blue will they be blue probably not i feel like they're just gonna go pink but my neighbor across the road has pale blue ones so i'm um, my hopes are high good morning everybody what a week it has been i am my body is just about ready to give up on me <clears throat> been so busy as well that i've been forgetting to take my iron tablets so i think i'm about to crash didn't really get to talk to you on podcast shoot day and i also didn't really get to talk to you yesterday either on tuesday i had my podcast shoot which was uh really good i couldn't get a lot of content because it was literally just me and lucy and we were just trying to get through the shoot as quickly as possible um because it was a really nice day and we were like oh my god we're just in a really cold dark hole we just had to wrap it really quick especially because my outfits weren't very materially like i was just freezing and my whole body was like just violently shaking at one point because i was so cold and uh then proceeded to come home and do gardening which really warmed me up which was lovely but um not really the best for my body i feel like i've put it under a lot of like physical strain and then the day kind of ran away with me from there i started talking to my neighbor um over the fence and so sad her husband passed away re recently um so when i get the chance to chat with her i like to really just kind of like give her my time and then i passed out at about 8 30 which has been a recurring theme so far this week is me just like falling asleep really really early um yesterday i went to london i had a few appointments up there uh including the h&m showroom which was so fun i will probably show you what i got maybe in the next vlog because i actually ordered some pieces after i left the showroom there was one top in particular that they didn't have in the showroom um, but there was in stock on the website so I just ordered it as soon as I left because I loved it. I have some other bits that I need to show you today already as well. We have got so much to get through today. Honestly, my life is wild right now. I have so much to show you, so much to tell you, so much going on. I really wish I had a second pair of hands so that I could vlog everything as I'm doing it because there's just so much going on right now. Like I go back to school next week which is crazy. Um, I'm not sure when you'll see that vlog. 
um, I would try and have it edited and up as soon as possible but there's just so much going on and I physically won't be able to like turn enough videos around but yeah so fun I'm so excited what foundation are we using today I've been using two matte foundations and I can't decide which one I want to use this one is like actually it's matte but it's really glowy this one is definitely more matte and it's a little bit darker and i feel like i could maybe use a bit more of a bronze up today this blush is so pretty i don't even know if it's meant to be a blush i think it is like a blush and highlighty glowy kind of product it's the armani fluid sheer in the shade 11 and it's just unreal big big fan of like a cream blush at the moment just literally tapped over the cheekbones it doesn't even have to be like a whole all over kind of moment just like here i think it looks really nice and fresh anyway today i am fully getting back on my youtube bandwagon and i am so so excited about it i honestly obviously i've been like vlogging a little bit here and there and i've been vlogging this week but i haven't been editing at all because I've been like deep in podcast land which is lovely and really nice for like just a change of activities like it's nice to switch things up but um god I really need to sharpen these it's nice to switch things up but podcasting is just not YouTube I get so much more enjoyment out of it um so yeah I am excited to be back week one of podcast recording went okay it wasn't the best like there was a period where i sat for i can't remember if i've told you this where i sat for two hours and then accidentally deleted everything i think i am definitely more of a visually creative human than like an audio vocal creative person it just it's not um i don't think it's the right kind of media for me and i think that's okay and it's good that i like know that and i know that it is going to be a little bit more of a challenge but anyway i feel like i'm being kind of neggy and i don't like that but it definitely i think especially recording with amelia made me realize how enjoyable it could be and because i'd only ever recorded on my own i didn't really have uh anything to compare it to but sitting down with her it was just like an absolute breeze and just super fun and yeah it made me realize like how much fun podcasting can be when it's not um just like you talking into space which is hilarious because that's kind of what i do now but i just it's not the same and it's funny because when i vlog i actually i like vlogging with other people like it's fun but i'm equally happy to vlog alone but on the podcast side of things i was just like wow this is just like so much more fun when you've got someone else to bounce off of like so so much better but anyway i am almost done with my makeup just adding a little bit of mascara not going for anything too crazy on the eyes today i just wanted like a light fresh makeup um and then once i've done this we are going to sort my hair because it's looking a little bit fluffy on the top i'm gonna try and sort that as best i can without having to completely redo my hair on the note of my hair i will show you what i've been using for these waves lots of you may already know because i have mentioned it in a video before but i got so many questions on my stories when i was wearing these waves yesterday um so i thought i would quickly show you in case you are also wondering how i did it and it's literally just the easiest thing like these are still the waves from my shoot on tuesday um, I don't know if it will hold up this well on everybody in the same way. My hair, if I leave it to dry when I get out of the shower, is a crappier version of this. Um, so like a frizzier, more unpredictable version of this. And I can get it to like, if I scrunch it with some mousse, I can kind of get it to go a bit like this. But this is really nice and uniform. Um, but I think throughout the summer, what I might do is leave my hair to dry naturally and then use the waver over the top to just kind of tidy it up a little bit um and hopefully it'll mean that i'm using like slightly less heat on my hair we'll see i don't know this might be a phase that i'm going through and then i'll hate these waves in like two weeks but um i've been doing this on and off for like a couple of years now but with straighteners but the waving wand like this waving wand in particular 
is so good and like i said you can do it with like regular curlers and straighteners but i do find straighteners give you a bit of a line and i don't love that i mean i've done it you've seen me do it on this channel i've showed you how to do it with the straighteners in a previous vlog but it is definitely harder to pull off it takes so much more time um so if you do have the money to pick up this tool or just the space in your home because honestly the amount of hair tools that i have to find a home for is a bit mad and i totally get that most people will not want to add like another one into the roster totally get that so this is what i've been using for my hair i got this for christmas from ryan and I, this this week was the first time i'd use it really bad but i just hadn't been like in the mood for waves these waves are looking a little bit wild today actually they're not looking as uniform as they have been looking like i loved the first day i did it they looked a lot more uniform and i kind of like that but it's fine we're just going to give them a brush through i've got a wide tooth comb which if you've got naturally wavy hair is an essential item to have anyway but really good if you're doing any kind of curls it's a little bit hard to brush through because of the spray i use to hold the curls um all the waves i try not to touch it too much because it does um my hair does tend to frizz the more you put like tension on it if that makes sense and the more you kind of go over it um but the spray that i use is really really good for then like holding it all together and stopping it going frizzy honestly the best spray i have found by miles yeah this side always goes a bit more flat so i think we're gonna have to like fully top up this side just make sure that we really protect my hair very important to me and the thing i also really like about this wand is that it has i don't know if you can see it's got a temperature gauge um so you can decide like how hot you have it i have got it on 140 today when i've used it before i've only had it on 150 and it works just fine like i don't even know why a lot of tools go up to 180 when i think about it and some go even beyond that and they still deem that as like okay for your hair and i just think no that's probably not okay like when i think about how quickly it works on 150 i am going to just top up this side so what i do is once i have undone it like undone the clamp i then clamp down again where i last like left off and then bump it down again onto the last little bump if that makes sense So because of this, you really don't have to hold it on for like very long. It goes a little bit more exaggerated the longer I hold it on. But because I'm filming right now, I'm trying so hard not to like uh, lose my concentration and like burn my hair off. This is so hard to do on camera. Wow, that was so hot. Cool. If I wasn't on camera today, would I be doing this? No. Um... If I was just at home, I really wouldn't bother. This This bit just looks like it needs a little zhuzh, so. Just do the bit at the back and then I'm just gonna leave it there because I don't really wanna put too much more heat on the whole of my head. And then I take my VO5 gel spray mega hold gel spray it actually says on the bottle 24 hour frizz control and normally i would be like yeah whatever um but it actually really does because my hair gets so frizzy in these kind of styles and you can see like underneath my hair it is just a little bit more like me i don't spray the underneath like as much as i spray the top and i think that how you see the underneath is very indicative of like it's still got a wave to it uh, but it hasn't held in the same way like you saw the top of my hair before I started waving it You can definitely see that this does make a difference um, and in terms of like the texture as well This does look a lot more like soft and slightly frizzy This is definitely one of the best 
hair discoveries that I have had in a very long time and it's really really affordable as well so I would highly recommend I will be using it even when I do like my natural waves and leave them to like dry naturally couldn't recommend this enough I use this for like wet hairstyles as well so I used this when I did my wet look for the Brits uh combined with like oil and some water and some mousse but this was like the main player in that hairstyle and then i've also done a wet look for fashion week and i mainly just use this it is really really good and it's also great for if you're doing like just a slick ponytail i honestly couldn't recommend having it in your like hair kit more i think it's so good but yeah other things you will need are heat protectant and a wide tooth comb this is essential i've been wearing a lot of like jeans and t-shirts and stuff recently whilst i've had like my week of like podcasting so i haven't really been wearing like outfits um i've just been wearing like real like classic standard staple pieces in my wardrobe um and having my hair like this has been really fun because it just kind of like spices up the outfit a little bit and speaking of classic staple pieces i actually have uh, an unboxing to do with you i made a big order of like basic pieces for spring i think because i was wearing um so many basic pieces over uh my podcasting week i was like i need this i need that like there were some things that i was like these are really missing in my wardrobe so we have a little spring basics unboxing to crack on with so let's get started okay i'm so excited to unbox this with you guys i have been waiting since it arrived like was it the weekend? I think it was at the weekend. I did want to get cozy in my living room and sit and unbox this with you, but there is building work going on, so that will not be happening. I have not ordered this many basics in a very long time, and I'm really excited about it because I'm just like, there are some severe gaps going on. Um, one of those gaps being like a long sleeve t-shirt. I keep going to Steel Ryan's, but they don't look right on me because they are just, too big so i picked up some of these long sleeve t-shirts from skims uh i got this in a size small and it's like a creamy kind of off-white long sleeve t-shirt which i cannot wait to just pair with some jeans these are so incredibly soft like feels unreal 45 percent cotton 50 percent modal and five percent elastine it just feels super soft so lovely they do these in like quite a few colors as well i did manage to get it in gray which i'm so happy about this is a really nice kind of gray i think this gray works with my skin tone like it's just like light enough um also now my hair is darker i feel like i can wear way more gray than ever before because there's not the real readiness uh or oranginess that is kind of whoa that's a giant bird whoa um that is kind of contrasting too much and then i also picked it up in the black as well i actually think i'll get the most wear out of the brighter colors but i think the black will be really nice to have um as well and i think would actually look really nice with like an all black outfit i'm excited to try those on uh we can like flick forward now and see what they look like praying that this is not too see-through okay okay so i kind of envisioned this just tucked in a little bit maybe even just like at the side so it's just like nice and slouchy like this is you know we're doing a basics haul we're not doing anything groundbreaking here these are just like nice casual pieces that i want to have in my wardrobe i've already got like all of the racer tops all of the skims bodies all of that like i'm good for a short sleeve but what i don't have is just like a nice long sleeve t-shirt and these are just so great like they're great for layering but they're also great for the kind of springtime or even like a very cold summer day i actually have one that's really old some of you might remember from top shop and it's got like some writing on it but i just really wanted something plain and something that felt like better quality and this is just this is perfect it just really fits the bill would i have loved it in a full-on white yes am i gonna send it back over that absolutely not this is just oh this is perfect this is like perfect like saturday chill out outfit a pair of cool sunnies these are a sneak peek by the way from my h&m 
order. I love them so much. They're so fun. I've been wanting like a new pair of sunglasses for a while. And these are just like different, but kind of like a nice twist on a classic. Like they remind me of the Ray-Ban style with the gold rim, but like a completely different shape. And I love that. Really nice and simple. Like I'm not trying anymore. I'm just, you know, this is me. I I am giving, I'm giving up. It's just like so nice and cute and easy. And that is what I want now. Very happy with these. Really like the sizing as well. I'm glad I didn't go too much smaller because I wouldn't have wanted it to like cling anywhere. Like this is the perfect sizing that I wanted with these. Oh, so excited to try the rest on. I did think that these would look really nice with like wide leg white jeans, but Apparently mine have gone walkabouts, but I still think with a pair of black leather trousers, um, they'd also just look really nice. I want a pair of really simple black boots, and then just like a blazer over the top. Yeah, just like a really nice, simple outfit. Like, really, really love this. I think the grey is nice as well. Like, I wear a lot of white, and actually it's quite stark. It's quite a big contrast, but... Yeah, the grey is lovely. Contrasts a little, but not too much. And I love how slouchy these are. I think they just sit really, really nicely. Like they're not too tight. They don't like cling to your boobs and then just like make your boobs look really apparent. Um, like there are some kind of jersey materials, like Zara do some jersey t-shirt materials that really just like cling to the boobs. Um, and you're, all you see is boob and I hate that. Um, whereas these just like fall really beautifully i also think the black would look amazing with this as well as like a full all black outfit but it's like super super comfy oh yes this is just gonna be like my go-to i am going to live in this combo over spring you are gonna see me wear a rotation of the same kind of like top bottom combo just in different colors every day. Throw on a pair of sunnies, some gold jewellery, an oversized bag. Yeah. I am living my best spring life right now. Honestly, the most comfortable I think I've ever been in an outfit in my life. Wow. Oh my god. I was not expecting this to be like this thick. Um, I got a black hoodie because my other black hoodies are honestly disgusting. I picked up just a nice big oversized black hoodie. The quality of this is so nice like it's much much thicker than I was expecting it to be. I don't know why because skim stuff is actually always really good quality I find. I don't know why it still surprises me because you do pay a lot of money for it as well. It's not like a Zara hoodie and I would say it looks like it's quite an oversized fit so no need to uh, size up okay so i'm in the hoodie i already started recording this and then my camera decided to stop so great it has a waistband that is quite like i don't know if you can see but it's quite like tight like it will stretch and go over my hips and it's like really comfortable not too tight not like not tight at all really it doesn't feel like it's super tight how many times can i say tight but anyway that means that if you roll the elasticated band under it will sit really nicely like this which i am very much appreciating because i really like that overall kind of slouch from a hoodie however minus points for the fact that the hood is just not i like a really big hood that's like almost gonna like shield and hide my face for flights i really like a big hood that i can kind of like hide in and go to sleep in and this this is not that but it does mean that it sits very neatly at the back so overall i really like the kind of fit and the slouch of it i think it's really lovely it's a really nice like dark black tone not like their onyx color that they do in some of their uh like shapewear items so it's like a true black tone which is really lovely um, it's also a really nice cotton material it's like a little bit brushed but not like super brushed um so it's like not raw cotton where it's rough but it's not like super 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 soft it's a nice in between the hood is double lined which is also great and there is fleece on the inside but not like crazy super soft fleece which i like because the super soft squishy fleece 
is the one that always sheds. Like I love my Anina Bing hoodie, but the amount, it's got like a white fleece lining and it is terrible for shedding. I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this throughout the spring. Like we all know it, we know how much I love a black hoodie. Uh, these are the Skims lounge dresses. So they're not the same as the fits everybody dress. I'm really excited to try these out. Um, I've heard really good things. Lots of people got these as an alternative to the Skims fits everybody and to be honest, like the Skims fits everybody, they're insane. They like snatch you, they're so tight. They snatch you so well and I love that. But if you're just, you want something relaxed and you just want to be super comfy, like there are just some times where you're like, this is not, now is not the time. This is not the right fit for me. But actually you want something that's still really nice and like fitted, um, but really comfy and that you can actually like fully walk in and, the great thing about the soft lounge dresses is they're like slightly wider on the bottom and they're not as tight elastic so you're not just like waddling. Um, so I really wanted to pick some of these up for a while and I thought this would be the perfect time of year to pick them up. I got a khaki which will look so nice with like cream oversized cardigans and knits and stuff like that. And I just love a khaki. I think it really suits my skin tone. And then I picked up the grey which I have wanted for such a long time time i think these are going to be the best like spring going into summer as well basics and i'll probably wear them in the autumn still too with like an oversized leather jacket and i'll wear them with an oversized leather jacket now to be honest and they're a really nice like ribbed knit jersey kind of feel and they feel so soft they've got adjustable shoulder straps which is amazing i'm hoping they're not going to be too long that is the only risk with these because the skims fits everybody dresses are so tight that they like ruch themselves up a little bit whereas these uh because they're wider on the bottom aren't going to be tight and ruching themselves up i could be playing with fire here but we will see um and then i also picked up a little version so this is the what are you called this is the soft lounge mini slip dress and i got this in a size small um i think i got everything in a small actually so the same overall look but in a little mini dress and i am yet to find like the perfect mini dress for spring summer that just doesn't uh make me not look great because some of them just don't fit in the right places on me the classic high street uh silhouette that they make clothing for it just it doesn't really work with my body shape so i thought this could be a really good uh shout because it's very very tight and fitted and they kind of just mold to you i'm hoping the length again is going to be okay we will see um it's got adjustable shoulder straps so hopefully i can bring it up so we will flash forward and try those bits on now as well and i will be back with you in a little bit once i've done some editing i think these are going to be super nice just with a simple pair of sandals over the summer which is basically how uh i wore this last summer except i wore it with a chunkier sandal with the fits everybody dress because they're tighter you can kind of for some reason get away with having a chunkier sandal but i tried this on with birkenstocks and it looked fine but they just didn't look as good as they do with like a less chunky slide on sandal the only thing i would say is that i kind of have a lot of excess material going on because if you kind of pull it to be like super flush to my body we've got so much excess going on like not even my highest heels could help with this. You can kind of just like pull it and have like just more crinkling, which would happen as you walk anyway, um, so that it sits a little bit higher up. This is when I can't get it back to how it was. But I know not everyone would love that. And to be honest, I don't know if I love it with like lighter colors, because I think you can really see it. This thing kind of happens with my uh, fits everybody dress that I have in black, but you really can't see it that much because it's black. So yeah, I'm not sure on this one. I might see if I can get it taken up though. Um, because I do just think these are like the best fitting dresses. I always feel my absolute best in these Skims dresses. They are just the best and the most comfortable and so stretchy as well. So I just think like over time, a worthwhile investment. So I wear these dresses with sandals in the summer, obviously, but I do think you can kind of make a sock boot look okay with them it definitely depends on the sock boot but for spring i think you can kind of get away with it and then they look quite nice with like blazers not black with this one but you know what i mean but also leather jackets are just 
a super nice option with a midi dress. I might go for one that's a bit more cropped with this potentially, just so you get a little bit more shape. I think that could be kind of nice. Just so you get the vibe, you know, this kind of thing I think could be really nice. These are just literally the softest things in life. They are just so, so comfy. I feel like you can see the excess material even more with this one. So I'm definitely gonna look into having these um, taken up because I kind of think they just do look a bit better when they're like flush uh, to the body. I think the gray could be really nice with a black blazer and just the black pair of boots during the spring. Having tried both colors on, I definitely think I'll get more wear out of the gray in the spring and I'd probably get a lot of wear out of a black uh, color in this during the spring as well just because I can pair it with more blazers. And then the khaki will be my like summer dress of choice. But yeah, I love them both. I'm gonna see if I can have them taken up because I just think they are so stunning. I mean, this, I cannot even begin to start listing the ways in which I can wear this in my wardrobe. This is just like the piece that I have been needing for spring, summer, much like my Reformation cashmere, like black dress was so perfect over autumn, winter. And to be honest, still now, still love it now. It's actually, working really nicely for the transitional period between winter and spring. Uh, but this is like my spring to summer staple piece. I can wear this now with tights and like chunky boots and like an oversized coat or like leather jacket. I can wear it in the spring with my blazer again or leather jacket. And as we go into summer, it will just be a shirt thrown on over the top and up until it gets so warm that I don't need anything at all. Can't wait for that. It is the perfect length as well. Like it's, I think it's rippled up a little bit, but it sits at like a really lovely point on me for like wearing a blazer over the top and just with like any pair of boots. I mean, I know some of us hate the cowboy boots, but any pair of black boots and the blazer and dress during the spring. It's just such a nice, easy outfit. I love that. Just living my best all black outfit life. Like I said, tights and chunky boots right now. This this is a whole vibe. Um, it's great because I have been wearing a very ill-fitting uh, Zara skirt under this blazer whenever I want to do like tights, chunky boots, blazer dress kind of vibe. Um, I've had a skirt that's just really it's too big, just sits really annoyingly, and it's slightly too long for the blazer, so I have to roll it up. So then again, the ill-fittingness is just very annoying, but this is perfect. Perfect. So yeah, very, very happy with this. This is gonna be a staple piece for me. What are you making all that noise for? Hmm? Do you want to say hello to your friends? This is how this little one would spend her life, if she could. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Oh, the red battery is flashing already. I just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you're all having a lovely weekend. I didn't get a chance to vlog much more after I last saw you. I um, literally had dinner, got into bed, finished my book. This was such a good book. I cannot recommend it enough. I've also started watching the TV series, which is also so good as well. And I really enjoyed putting like a face to the characters. Um, I think some of them are even better than in my head. It's The Power by Naomi Alderman, and you can watch it on Prime as well, but I would definitely recommend reading the book. I really enjoyed reading the book. But that is gonna be it for me and for this vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's vlog. I have the craziest hair right now. I've literally, I've just woken up. Do excuse me, but uh, yeah, I will be back with you next Sunday. I unfortunately have to skip and upload because I will be on my course uh, this week. I will not be able to upload, but I hope that's okay. And I will see you again on Sunday and then hopefully for the rest of the month, we'll go back to, hopefully we'll go back to twice a week uploads. I have a little trip that I'm going on, but I'm gonna try and still upload whilst I'm on it. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this and I'm very happy to finally be back off my break. Um, I love you all lots and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.